in the return of Wolverine, the stakes have never been higher. But as you say that, it's kind of weird because they've never been lower because Wolverine's dead. <laughs> The Return of Wolverine has an awesome crew of creators on it. First of all, obviously, we've got Charles Soule, who wrote The Death of Wolverine back to bring back the character he offed so rudely. And joining him for issue one and five of the book is Steve McNiven, who drew the entire Death of Wolverine as well. And they brought their creative partners along for the ride. Laura Martin, the industry's top colorist, who'll be providing her beautiful palette to Steve's pencils. And then also Declan Shalvey, who is gonna be coming in and uh, drawing a couple of the middle issues. On page one of this book, things change for Logan a little bit. We join him in a pretty dark place. The book starts in hell, not literally hell, but a place that's gonna, gonna feel kinda like that. And then Wolverine begins a journey to get himself out of hell. You know, we always say dead is dead unless there is a great story in which we can bring him back. And Charles had that story. The story is definitely uh, not for your little kid readers of Wolverine. There's a ton of action, ton of really intense action. That's always been part of Wolverine's life and a big part of his stories is sort of the violence and the pain and all the things he has to overcome to, to try and do some good in the world. Wolverine is a great character. He's wrestling with the idea that he has a darkness inside of him. Wolverine is just one of those characters that appeals to people. And anytime he goes away for any reason, the demand has never been greater to bring him back. When the fans speak, we listen. I am just so excited for you guys to pick up The Return of Wolverine from me and Steve McNiven coming out uh, September 19th, available everywhere. I think you're gonna love it.